Hey, I'm the Cat Toy Lady. So today is for all of you that write into me saying, yes, I've seen your towel wrapping video, but how do I turn my cat's toenails by myself? Because using the towel, it's, you still need to kind of keep two hands on it and the cat, and that still leaves you without a hand to be able to trim the nails. So this is something that I actually use at work. Remember, I'm a vet tech at a mobile vet clinic. And our goal is to keep things nice and calm, stress-free. This is one of the products that we use almost every single day to be able to achieve that goal. This is called the Cozy Cat Wrap. This is the kitten size, that's the adult size. On average, they run around $100. I'll put the link in the description below. You may be saying to yourself, oh, that's a bit pricey. But to be able to have nail trims done without anyone getting hurt, anyone freaking out, isn't it worth it? And for those of you that have had kids, you might look at this and be like, I think I've seen something like that before. That's because it's basically a baby swaddle with pockets on it that you can be able to get to different spots on the cat, kind of like a porthole. So each one of these flaps opens up and you can pull a leg out or for veterinary visits, they can give vaccines through it. So on the underneath side, there's four spots and a zipper. You know, maybe if their legs are a little bit chunky or they're kind of laying twisted, that way you can still be able to access where you need to get to. Then if you need to use it at the vet, there are actually spots on each of the back hips. And this is different than the old school cat bags. The old school cat bags still let them be able to freak out inside, claw themselves to death on the inside of the bag, rip toenails out. This is different. This, using the wings, once you get them inside, you flap it down and then you kind of tighten it all snug to where their legs are kind of up against themselves. And it has that calming effect that scruffing can have. Granted, this isn't for all cats. Some cats, no matter what you do in the way of restraint, just freak out. And those are the babies that do best with sedatives, let's be honest. And again, this is the kitten size. This is the adult size. Almost all adult cats will fit in here. And the kitten size, once they're past teenageness, you probably don't want to use this one. I do recommend that when you go to open up the Velcro, you do it in a room that your cat isn't already in. Just because Velcro can be a very scary sound for cats. Here's the front. There's the back. And at the neck, there's this nice sturdy Velcro. And this is what you put on first. So you're going to wrap the Velcro around and then worry about getting the body inside without zipping up any fur at that point. Then once you get the body zipped up, you can readjust the neck strap just to make sure they can't poke a little paw through. But remember, you still want to be able to get two fingers underneath, that way you know they can breathe. So let me grab a volunteer from the audience of cats that are running around like madmen at the moment and show you how it's put on. And remember, using treats is not a bad thing. Make nail trims a reward, not a negative thing. So if you have one like mine, just shake the bag and let them come to you. <laughs> Grab your nail trimmers first. Give a couple treats as a reward. When you go to first put it on, you wanna come from the front and not try to put it over the back. Swoop the bottom and tuck it in. Get all legs in and hold the zipper. Give another treat so they are distracted. And go ahead and zip up. What's nice about the zipper is you can unzip it from the other direction too. Then adjust your neck strap. See how we have a paw out. Take your swaddle part, the stiff black part first. Oh, she's trying to get to the tree. Press down to where they're kind of squished down and then do your wrap. Just like that. And then she can still have rewards. And I'm going to use one of the side ports. She loves it, can't you tell? To just be able to pull out a foot. She's not happy. She is my cat that hates nail trims the most. She will actually bite.
There we go. Now another tree. Let's give a few of them. And then a front leg. And be gentle when pulling legs out. That way you don't catch any toes and you don't get anything caught. I am keeping my hand far enough away that if she does try to move around, she can't bite me. Yeah, she hates nail trims. Uh-huh. There we go. And then you can wiggle the paw back in, rotate. And do the other side. I know, sassy pants. See how I'm keeping my hand behind her head? That's a good way to stay safe. Uh huh. If you need to, you can lay a towel across. That way they can't reach up and bite and see where they're aiming. Mm hmm. No, ma'am. And if it's just too stressful, worry about one paw each day. Don't try to do them all in one day. Last back paw. I know. I should have started with her front paws because fronts are the ones she hates the most. But there we go. <laughs> so what do you think? She's wrapped up, she can't run anywhere, and she's still eating her treats. Now, we release the Kraken. Undo the Velcro. Grab the Velcro around the neck, and then the zipper. And there we go. The sassy pants is free. And then, don't forget more treats. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think it's something that would be practical in your house or do you think your cat would still just freak out? Should you be one of those that was saying my cat would still just freak out? Definitely talk to your vet about happy meds that you can use at home for nail trims. There's so many new medications that we're learning about that really, really help with cats. And because they're so safe, most vets don't have a single problem being able to prescribe them as long as you, they have seen your cat within the last year. Remember, it's the law. They have to have seen them within 365 days. And as a little bit of interesting background, yes, a veterinarian did come up with this. She's a mobile vet, um, kind of in the same situation that I am. I'm a vet tech that works mobily. Her vet tech went on maternity leave and she needed a way to be able to still see patients. And because it's not a standard clinic, you do not have multiple techs. You have one technician that works with you all the time. Um, she didn't want to have to hire a new person. so. This was her idea. She had had kids. She realized that the swaddle kept them nice and tucked in. It's very calming to cats. And really, it's a genius idea. I have to say I'm a bit jealous. I like being the one to come up with good ideas, but I'll hand it to her. She knew what she was doing. And yes, it's machine washable. You can take it to your vet. I would not keep your cat wrapped in it the entire time going to the vet. Um, maybe just once you get there, you can put it on your cat and it may help them. They may decide they want one of their own for cats that are at the clinic. And if you have any questions whatsoever, just leave them in the comments below. And again, in the description, I will have a link to their website. And good luck with nail trims.